All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another undisputed video and another request request video. Excuse me today. This one's come from Big Cello or Big Shello. Sorry if I've just butchered your username there, mate. But he's asked for a Roy Jones Jr. and Canelo fisticuffs. Uh, I should have asked you, mate. What who did you actually want me to play as? Or what? Uh, Roy or Canelo? I think he wants it on a specific arena. Let's see. Weight class wasn't specific, so I might just pick them. Let's see. Is Roy in this division? Middleweight. There he is down at the bottom there. 91. No light heavy. Is he here? Yeah, he's there. 90. 87 for Canelo. Um, I don't know who he wants me to play as. I'm guessing because he put Roy's name first. I'll probably get this wrong, mate, but so if we have a, a an early finish, I'll just do the same fight again, but I'll flip the I'll flip it round so we, we get a Canelo matching. And I think it was the Kiritsu Arena, if I remember right. Disputed difficulty. Bumped the damage mother, modifier up by one. Just keep the stat as it is. It is. Not too fussed about that. Let's get it on. Hope you'd enjoy the video, mate. Thanks for the request. There's fucking plenty of drama going on in the UFC, uh, the UFC community Welcome lately, isn't the there? WBC fucking hell, it's all going the off. Fucking accusations now. of shilling. <laughs> fucking martial mind matchup. coming under fire for being a shill. Alongside me, former world champion I mean, he's, he's definitely well, drinking from the devil's soon. armpit a little bit, and he getting in bed. I mean, of all the fucking the developers day, you could get into bed with. Roy Jones Jr. I mean that like deep dive RJ video James that he did. Like people are, are speculating whether he had like a script or if he was given a set of like things to say. Like everything that was coming out of his mouth, like was that given to him by the dev team to say like just just read all this off. Uh, I don't know the ins and outs of it, obviously, because only he knows that and the dev team, but he did sound like he was he was reading from something. Like maybe like bullet points or something like that, because he just sounded like he just if you just shut your eyes at that whilst the video was on, you didn't even have to look at him. He just had that Roy used car Jones salesman Jr. tone to his voice. You know, he's like doing the hard time. sell. And I promise you, if you take this car out for a spin, you're not gonna be disappointed. You know, like that kind of tone, like that that's what he had. Like UFC five is as real as it gets. Like that's not how Marshall normally speaks. Like you know, I don't watch too much of Marshall's content, but like when he's he normally just turns the camera on and he's like kind of free flowing a little bit, you know, because he's like playing like a live online match or whatever. So there's no, there's not really too many cuts. But if you go back and look at the deep dive again, he's saying a sentence and then it, it's cutting. Like there's another quick cut. So what he's probably doing is he's probably reading the line on the page or whatever, getting it right, and then he's like cut. Like that's one line done. He'll read another line, get it perfect with no stutters or or hiccups in the word. Hey, super so until everything's hey, perfect and then you string it all together so it looks like a, a seamless edit you know what i mean Roy but uh, without a doubt he was he was he'd either written his own notes or they'd just give him a bunch of things to say and it's a, a very very crafty move by the devs that isn't it because like if you look at the views from the first reveal trailer um, that they did like a couple of days earlier to the deep dive i mean i think it might be sitting at like 600k views now but a, a, a few days ago when it was sitting at like 300k it had been up like a say for like for, like so many days but the vi the deep dive video with, when Marshall was on almost like caught up with it in views. So the devs are kind of like I guess they've realised from their first video it's like ah oh, fuck no one's listening to us when we put a but when we when we put a video up. But if we attach Marshall to our thing, people are gonna come running. Like it's very smart what they've done. Like you know, I just hope that uh, Let's see if they deliver. you know, he's. He's not like sucking on like the corporate cock, and because he he definitely like I mean like I say I'm not a big watcher of Marshall's content, but like you can definitely see like his videos. If like anyone who watches him a lot might even be able to agree with me on this. But he started doing like different kind of editing in his videos, and I know like your channel can sort of evolve and you can try different things. But he started doing like that really annoying like TikTok editing. Do you know what I mean? Like and I, I, and, I, and I know he's doing it because. I've seen people complaining about it in the comments. 
It's like he'll start the fucking video off like with I don't know, let's say he's doing a fucking a challenge or whatever. And he'll start the video with like, hey guys, today I'm playing as Sean O'Malley. Why? And he's got like, you know, the subtitles at the bottom of the screen as he's saying the words. That's a very like TikTok thing to do. Um, apparently, I don't fucking use TikTok at all. I think it's fucking a cancer on the fucking the human race. But he, you know what I mean? Like some of you all know exactly what I mean. He's doing that sort of like editing that he's not really known for, you know? And it's it's like trying too hard. Like it's like, you know, he's probably said to himself, what can I do to sort of take my channel to the next level a little bit and uh, sort of appeal to a few more people that, are, that aren't in the audience? And... I just noticed that about his channel. I was like, Marshall, why are you doing these weird TikTok style edits? Like, you know, so he's looking to like take his his channel to the next level. What a way to do it than than uh, than to lick EA's nutsack uh, a little bit, you know. And you know, a, a lot of people. I'm not saying he's a shill, like you know. I mean, I'm not saying his name is Marshall Mind at all, but like. You know, he's a, a, I respect anyone who's who's uh, who's getting any kind of hustle going. You know, if you're fucking making money, but like. In order to sort of get a hustle on now and again, you've got to kind of shit on people to do it, you know. Like, and you know, it, Marshall, it's it, he's not, it's not fair to him to say, oh, it, you know, he he's carrying the fucking hopes and dreams of the MMA game community on his shoulders. That's a lot of responsibility to just put on some on one person. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I don't think that's fair to do that to him to say like. But what I think is fair, what he should be doing is be honest with like how good or bad the game is and 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 relay that information to the devs without them worrying about like well, what if what if they revoke me game changer status you know like what if they what if they don't invite me on their channel to to have exclusive co sort of uh, access to the game or like get to play it early or talk about things on my channel earlier than anyone else you know you know and people say like oh he does criticize the game yet yeah, i mean he does but like it's almost like EA are kind of allowing him to have certain criticisms like oh yeah the damage to this could be upped or there is a bit of spam and we need to we need to mitigate this kind of spam or kind of like online meta so it, it gives the illusion that he's kind of like saying oh this needs fixing this needs changing this is in a bad state but he'll never be allowed to outright say UFC 5 is fucking dog shit don't buy it everyone like uh, this this is me with this is, he'll never be able to do like a something drastic like that because he'll just drop him faster than a fucking i don't know it's like a sack of shit do you know what i mean um like ea don't, and the sad thing is as well like ea don't give a fuck about him you know they really don't if you don't like they don't give a fuck about the game changes they're just like because the game change they don't have any real clout do they they don't have any say they're not changing anything they don't have a say like the, the, all they are is just like is uh, YouTube accounts for the devs to sort of just exploit to to influence the people. You know what I mean? The, the devs will latch on to like popular. I mean, they don't get the name influencers for nothing, do they? I hate using that term because it just fucking it's so fucking zoomer. But like, they do. Pe so, some in, some YouTubers have a big influence on their audience, and their audience come away parrot and whatever shit that they're saying sometimes you know like for better or worse um you know there's, there's bad influences and there's good influences um but the devs are aware of that that social media people who, like who have accounts and youtubers and whatnot that they have a reach and the devs don't have that reach so the devs will exploit their channels and say oh yeah you can have some early access to the game well why don't you come down to EAHQ and you can have a hands-on experience with the game and don't forget to like tell all your subscribers how awesome the game's doing by the way you know um because we want them to pay fucking hundred fucking dollars or a hundred pound for a, a fucking update oh well, that's another thing i mean to, i don't want to drag onto this thing about marshall too much like but one thing i wanted to say i was going to do a video on this a separate video but for the for the ufc like online player community like obviously i'm just a i just focus on single player Excuse me, I just focus on single player stuff in games, so like this and, you know, I just do career modes, that's like my online days are over now, I can't be bothered being a fucking slave to online messes and fucking all that bullshit, it's not, it's not enjoyable to me, but um, what I was going to say, like you, all you online lads, you, you want to be fucking banded together, like I, if I was part of the online community, I mean, I would be fucking furious that we're getting yet another UFC game where you can't pick your fucking weight classes online. Like, I would be fucking livid at that. 
and you lot should all be fucking banding together to get that shit fucking scrubbed. Like, what possible reason could they have to limit your experience online by saying, do you know what, today you're only allowed to play as fucking the female bantamweights, and then tomorrow you can play as the heavyweights, the, the male heavy... Like, why? I'm trying to... I'm trying to figure out like why they why they did that in UFC four. I don't know if they did it in three. I, I didn't play three. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, but why would they be doing that? Like one reason off the top of my head, I can only I can think of, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was true. Would be they've done it this way so the women get people get to play as the women. Like because let's face it, like I mean I've got, I've got an again not on against women's MMA. I fucking I'll watch the women fights on the pay per views. You know what I mean? I, and I, I've enjoyed some of them. But a lot of people don't. They don't even like watching the women in real fights. So what the fuck? They're never gonna pick them in a fucking in a game. Do you know what I mean? But there's some people who love playing as the women. But that was one of the reasons I could only think of is why? Why would they lock the, the your weight class where you had no say? And it's to so the women get a fair shout because no one's gonna fucking pick them, are they? Like I'm, I'm trying to think of another thing. Like why can't they just have a bunch of servers like they've had in games of? you know, years gone by, so like a fucking, you know, you'd go on like battlefields years ago and it's like, oh, today I want to play fucking Conquest and there'd be a load of fucking Conquest servers and, oh, today I want to play Team Deathmatch and then there'd be a load of Team Death. You, you get the choice of what to play, like, is it is that too much trouble for them to do to have a bunch of servers on UFC? So there's like a heavyweight server and there's a, a light heavyweight server, you know, all the fucking weight classes have their own servers and whatever weight class you feel like playing as. You can just look for the fucking server and get a match rather than being forced. Like I'm trying to th imagine imagine if this happened in the online shooter community. So imagine if like, you know, Call of Duty players or Battlefield players and Fortnite, I'm just trying to think of like, you know, the most popular shooters today. If they brought a game out and and they restricted the online and you went online one day and the like and the, the the game is like oh do you know what today you're only allowed to play team deathmatch whether you fucking like it or not what are you going to do about it um tomorrow you can play like domination and then the day after that you can play fucking uh, you know free for all or whatever can you imagine the fucking uproar that would cause but for some reason in the in the UFC game community it just get it just we just let it slide like you know and you know people have like said a lot with the, you know with this UFC 5 coming out how pissed off they are with it for a bunch of reasons you know it's a uh, it's basically an update for UFC 4 it's got fucking bare bones shit in it there's a slightly modified ground game blah blah oh we've had cuts and fucking dynamic fucking replays for picky reason why you're upset with the game but I've heard a lot of people say like well put your money where your mouth is everyone and fucking protest and say we're not paying for, we're not paying this ridiculous amount of money for what's basically a fucking update but it takes every uh, not everyone because not every, you can't get everyone on board to do it it takes the majority of the fan base and the consumers to get on board with it it kind of reminds me of like strike action you know I used to be a postman I was a postman for 10 years and we had uh, at least while I was there in my 10 year period we had it like four strikes like industrial action strikes and it takes the majority of the workforce to band together and say like we're not doing this so whatever the dispute is over pay fucking conditions whatever but you'd always get those people who don't want to take part you know they'll use a bunch of excuses and some are valid and others are not and you know some some people are like oh well I've got kids I can't afford to lose out on that money well so have other people got kids but they're still fucking willing to risk fucking losing out on money to change the conditions for the better but you'd always get those scabs who just like you know there's a oh there's a big right straight knocking Canelo down you'd always get those scabs who just kind of who still do the work regardless you know the management might offer them like a time and a half if they just do the work you know what I mean on the sly um, but everyone in the game community should be banded together saying look we're not paying for this like uh, we're not paying for the lack of stuff that we're getting in like a th I know people are saying it's been three years in developments, but it's probably been more like two, hasn't it? But that doesn't really change anything. Like, it doesn't matter whether it's two or three years. I just realise a lot of people are saying three. Um, but it's probably more realistically two years. But it, what, we've, what we've been offered as a game is fucking horrific. You know, like, like the price is horrific, and I know that's just the fucking price of games now, which is doesn't make it fucking okay, does it? And... Um, 
for a basically minor few additions. But yeah, you online lads should be fucking banded together saying this is fucking unacceptable at a fucking minimum. We want the fucking online restriction lifted. I want to play. I want to pay fucking, you know, whatever you paid, $70, $100. And I want to be able to pick the fucking weight class that I want to play as. I don't want to be told by fucking, by the devs on, a, if you're playing as this fucking, this, this weight class today, fucking deal with it, like it or not. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You'll still, you'll still play it and you'll still fucking like it. Like, that's fucking unacceptable. That brings my fucking piss to a boil. That kind of fucking control, you know what I mean? There's no justifiable reason why it should be like that. If the women don't get picked enough, or whatever the reason is for them doing it, tough fucking titties, do you know what I mean? Fucking makes me angry, and it, it makes me uh, relieved that, that I don't fucking play or, uh, online, or I've got nothing invested in the online experience. But a lot of people have, I, I get you. I'd be fucking fuming if I was you lot. Fuming. To the point where I probably wouldn't want to buy the game again, because when I, I came to UFC 4 pretty late, and once, you know, once I found, I mean, I didn't want to play online at all, I just got it for the career modes, but once I found out, I think it was just through watching someone's streams, um, that, you, that the weight classes were locked, I was like, I was shocked by that, I was like, I can't believe this is actually a thing, I can't believe they're getting away with this, like, you should all be banding together, do what, I don't know, someone get a fucking petition going, I mean, they've already made a lot of money now, the amount of pre-orders that they've probably fucking ate money off. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I, it was just yesterday I, I pre-ordered mine, and, I, and I'm only going to play the career mode, I'll, I'll probably do a bunch of career modes, and then I'll be fucking done with the game. <laughs> you know, I might I might upload some fighter updates when they, when they uh, add to the roster, but and that, that'll be me fucking done with it, I think, I don't know. Like... And I'm looking forward to it even less now that we've seen footage of the beta. You know, people have leaked footage of the beta and it looks fucking the same game. Like, let's be honest. Like, And people who have played it have said, like, that people who have played it who've had experience with 4 and they're comparing it to 5 saying, trust me, it's the same fucking game with extra blood, um, a slightly different fucking submission system. You know... And that's it. And a fucking couple of fancy replays at the end of the fight, you know, with that fucking underwater filter. To be honest with you, I fucking like the normal replays that were in UFC 4 at the end of the fight because it looked more like a fucking broadcast then. That's the, they're the kind of replays you get at the end of a broadcast, not that fucking blue filter bollocks. I'm hoping you can at least turn that off. But it's, they just try and wow people with bullshit like that. Do you know what I mean? But another thing that's been funny about the UFC 5, I've been saying the same kind of backlash in comment sections when you speak out against it. I got a lot for, for criticising this game, fucking hell. But I've, I've been seeing the same fucking nut riders in comment sections, like, defending the game, defending UFC 4, like, willing to die on a hill to defend... Uh, sorry, to, uh, UFC 5, willing to, to die on the hill of, UFC 5's awesome, you're just a hater, don't, if you don't like it, don't play it. Now that's a fucking mouth breather fucking argument if I ever heard one that don't if you if you don't like it don't play it that, or if you don't like it don't watch kind of bullshit fucking hate that shit I want to like the game I'm a fan of fucking mixed martial arts but I'm not happy with what you what what the developers have offered or what they haven't offered more to the point what they've, what they've not fucking offered us with a new offering for the game fuck me how long have I been talking for fucking hell that was a and I'm not done yet <laughs> I'm not done I'm not fucking done ranting. But yeah, you lads, online lads, fucking something has to be done. Like I say, they've made, they're making their money now. They, like, they've probably had a bunch of pre-orders. I've already fucking contributed, unfortunately. But um, like I say, that online shit is it shouldn't be allowed to be happening. You just all want to fucking get that changed. Do what you gotta do. Fucking complain, you know. If you fucking, if, if those of you who still fucking worship Marshall Mind, if he's got any, any, any say or credibility, he should be going to the devs and getting that, saying to the devs, look, you want to get this fucking online restriction bullshit like removed from the game. Not fucking. Oh, get rid of the fucking the knee elbow spam, yeah, and that's probably you know annoying to deal with online. But there's more important things, you know. Um, that. There's, I mean, there's a fucking long list of things that people are going to want changed about the game, no doubt, but... I don't know. It's probably never going to happen, because I don't have faith that people will band together. Unfortunately, you know, the devs... You know, divide and conquer. We, they've got they've got us all squabbling each other in comment sections, haven't they? You know, we're all arguing, some defending it, some against it. 
and you know divide and conquer is a fucking military tactic and unfortunately it works you know your fucking your fucking government does it with 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 society you know politicians do it with us and you know, people people are always fucking at war in some form or another whether it's fucking arguing in a fucking comment section about a video game or over their fucking favorite politicians you know, we're never all. It's hard to just band together at times. But I'm telling you, though, I know it's a, I know it's a cheesy cliche saying, but the power is with the people, and if enough people band together, EA will fucking. And it won't, it won't change anything with this game, I don't think. But down the line, when it comes to like UFC fucking six, they'd be like shit. I, it, like if enough people kick up a lot of stink and their sales are dog shit, because obviously you know the fucking. The, I'm sure Dana, if if this imagine let's just save the sales for UFC five were absolute turd. The, like worst ever sales for that game. Dana White's probably gonna want to know, or the marketing team for the game. Like why are the fucking sales so bad for this game? EA, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? And they might lose their fucking contract to work on the fucking game. I'm just thinking, like, someone's not going to be happy at UFC fucking HQ if sales are bad. And the only way you make sales bad is if you fucking all band together and say, do you know what? We're not going to pay for this. We don't want it. We'll wait for UFC 6, eh? And maybe you can fucking take your finger out your ass and give us a better offering. Give us a better leap in the technology. People are waiting three fucking years. People have paid for, like, next-gen consoles and in the hopes of having like a better fucking experience and they've basically got a fucking PS4 Pro update or a, you know what I mean? Because that's all it is. So, I don't think anything will change now. I think we're all stuck with it for the next fucking, until the next offering. But, I don't know, I'd, I'd love to be proven wrong. I'd love to fucking see on the internet next week fucking a, a massive petition going. I mean, if, if I see something like I'll fucking refund the game like if I see that's gaining traction if it ever comes in, I'll just fucking refund the game and, and I'll just fucking join but I just don't I don't have confidence in my fellow man unfortunately and I'm probably adding to the problem oh big left up there by Camillo all right up over the top gonna be getting slept either I'm not careful well, he's showing us he's got an iron chin, but at what cost? Very close round with but 10 seconds. Mark my words, I didn't fucking put me pre-order down out of excitement for the game. I'm fucking dreading when that when I actually get to play that game in the in the three day early access. Because I know I'm gonna start playing it and I'm gonna feel what the people playing the beta felt. And our first thing I'll think of is this plays like number four. Plays exactly the same. Strikes are still fucking slow unresponsive fucking button inputs when you're slipping and sometimes when you throw a strike the butt the fucking strike doesn't even come out same with the fucking head movements i know i'm gonna feel those things when the, when i first play the game when i do my first like fight now match on against the ai or i go into me fucking career mode i'm gonna feel those emotions i know it because if other people are fucking saying it just with the beta and i've seen like all the sh like the people defending it going oh it's an early build it's an early build of the bait why is it a fucking... Okay, if it is an early build, why? Like, the game is out. Oh, fucking big right straight left up there. The game is out next month. That game is not in development. Like, I don't want to be hearing that shit. That, I've got a feeling console game... Uh, cons console devs are going to be using that kind of, like... It, like... Fuck, like, the game is still in development after its release. Like, what is this fucking PC early access now for consoles? You know, they're going to have the game officially out, but they're going to say... Oh, well, we're constantly working on the game, though. It has to be constantly worked on till the end of its life cycle. That's like the fucking... Ex I'm going to get knocked down again. I'm moving slow. You know, that fucking... If, why are they using an early build for the beta? Why don't... Because a lot of people are saying a lot of features that we've been told about in the deep dive are not in the fucking beta version. Well, why don't you just use the fucking most modern version of the game then, devs, you fucking daft cunts? If you want people to get excited... Let them experience these new features in the beta. Don't give them like a fucking bare bones fucking version of the fucking game. What the fuck are you playing at? And you wonder why people come away upset. Oh yeah, it is a fucking early build of the game that fucking barely had any features in it. Have fun. Fucking hell. Fucking devs are fucking... Just out of touch, like, aren't they? I feel like with the... With what the community wants. Oh, nice right straight to the body, left up there. I bet your poor big cello watching this video was just like, liver shot, shut the fuck up and let me fucking enjoy the boxing match. Can't help it, mate. I'm in one of those moods today. 
Oh, a little right straight through the guard there, just around the, around the left hand. I'm in one of those moods today where I just want to fucking bent a little bit. Because I, I don't want to fucking... Uh, I know a lot of the UFC channel content creators are like sort of... They're cashing in on all, all this UFC, you know, stuff coming up. They've been churning videos out and, you know, fair play to them. They're making, they're making some money hustling on videos, like drama videos and that. And, you know, fucking rightly so. If EA didn't put out all the bullshit, there'd be no fucking drama videos to make. Um, I'd rather be seeing videos where people are really pleased and looking forward to the game. I don't want to be seeing videos where people are upset and not looking for, and, you know, not happy that what they've been waiting for for the last two years is fucking a tear rolled in glitter. Because that's all it is, really. UFC 5 is a fucking tear rolled in glitter. It might be fucking sparkly and covered in glitter, but it's still a fucking tear. Yeah, so uh, I didn't want to add to all that just chaining video. I mean, I could make a couple of quid off it by going off on one of my rants, like people seem to find them funny. But I just can't be bothered. Like, you know, it's exhausting to me, you know, constantly buying into all the fucking drama. So that's why you've not seen me. So they're pumping out fucking, like, oh, you won't believe this about UFC 5, like, videos. I, I just can't be bothered. Like, it's... I went through all that with, um... When I used to play Star Wars Battlefront 2, and if any of you know what a shit show fucking that, that game was, and the fucking all the microtransaction controversy, like, that game just... Oh, beautiful. I put there. Um... You know, I was just fucking... That game just... I got too involved with, like, the... The same kind of thing that the, we're experiencing now with the UFC stuff. I was, like, frustrated at, at the devs. It's like, why are they adding this to the game? Why are they not adding this? Why are they leaving this out? Why have they not fixed this? Why is this in the game? And it just ate, it ate away at me. And it, I just felt like I was stressed all the time. You know what I mean? And I, I, I'm, I'm glad I don't play that game no more. I mean, it, it, the fucking development got fucking shit-canned during COVID for that game. And it, it's not even... The devs just don't wait. It's completely, completely abandoned. But I'm, I'm glad I walked away. That was, the, that was the last online game I played as well, that game. I used to play that online. And it just used to stress me out, like the development process for the game, like things that they'd add and stuff like that. And Yeah, I just don't want to get involved with all that with this game, you know. I, I don't want to be a spokesperson for this, for the MMA community, like at Marshall Mine. I just want to play the fucking games. Hopefully enjoy them if they're good. No but uh, I don't want to try and get caught up in all the fucking drama because it, it just fucking exhausts me. I might you might get a few funny rants out of it from me now and again, but it's fucking exhausting, you know. It's um, just to constantly stress about stuff all the time. And I've seen people in comment sections saying, "Oh, I'm so like up upset about UFC. I've been with like, it's not worth being so stressed out over it, you know. It's just not." I understand that he's a frustrated and me too I'm very frustrated that certain things have not changed and I'm very very frustrated over it but at the end of the day there's fuck all we can do about it until maybe the next game UFC 6 when we can all fucking hopefully band together and, and force changes to happen force it like I said before fucking powers with the people and it really is if, if enough people kick up enough shit that's cut and if enough people kick up enough of a shitstorm It'll force the fucking devs when they realise their sales are fucking th you know, plummeting and they're getting fucking their asses tanned off fucking Dana White and all his fucking shirts and tie execs, executives. The fucking, they'll start doing some changes, then they'll be like, oh, it is pride mode that you'd all wanted, everyone. We've been saving it for UFC 6. Um, it is all the uh, the online restrictions taken away. It is all the, you know, you're never going to get a game completely perfect for everyone, but like, oh, fucking got rocked there big time. I'm telling you, if enough people kicked up a stink, things would change, but it, it, it takes the majority of the fan base to do it. Do and I'm just fucking kind of repeating myself now. But... Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Yeah, so that's why you've not seen me sort of jumping all over sort of the UFC hate bandwagon. Like, I, I still fucking hate what's going on. I just, I just can't be bothered. It's just too fucking exhausting. You can bang too. Not the best start, but you know what? Yeah, I was actually going to do a video on, like, a... Uh, Get through the round. You know, the whole martial mind potentially up, being boom, a shill and But I thought I thought better of it, you know what I mean? It's just like no, I, probably, you know, I, I think who did it was it Claimer on Cut did a video on him recently and he didn't say he was a shill. He was just put, proposing uh, uh, the question. I think at the end of his video he he actually said Marshall wasn't a shill, you know, and but he should he's, 
So I enjoyed that video by Clayman. He got like the, the information across and just like, wasn't like a big 40-minute you know, long documentary. You know, it was a five-minute video. It was to the point. He got his points across and he was fair. You know, he didn't just go out there and just take a shit all over Marshall. You know, I think he's been a fan of Marshall's channel for a long time. Um, you know, people just want to see Marshall just be honest about the game and not 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 worry about his you know his connection to EA tarnished in any way just because he wants to say what's on his mind you know and be honest about what he's experiencing you know I think he's worried about that and and that's why he's not as honest as he as he probably should be. On to the twelfth. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Listen to me. If I know like that, that last round, round I've been fucking flapping out. my gums that much. I've just totally everything, fucking everything. not been paying attention. I've just talked for fucking 12 rounds. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh, power straight off the jab to the body. I do like that combination. The, the power straight seems to come out a lot quicker off the jab to the body. Doing a bit of boxing today. Me and Mrs. Livershot, we, we train like once a week together. You know, she does other stuff at the gym and yoga and all that stuff. But I got her doing some boxing. We were doing the uh, the bass root and MMA workout, if anyone's familiar with that. We've been doing that for ages now. We were doing some pads today, calling, calling out numbers for each other. But we were trying it southpaw for the first time. Been trying to learn how to fight left-handed, both of us. And it was fucking funny. Fucking all over the place. But we've got a so my fucking shoulders are fucked. I enjoyed it. Hard. Try it again next shot? week. Trying to That's learn to fight South Pole. What a shot. But we managed to knock him out. We got him out of there eventually in the 12th round after a fucking full video was worth of just flapping me gums and talking shit. What were the cards like? Let's have a look at them cards. Pretty clear cut. Here's your punch stats. I hope you enjoyed the video, Big Cello. Enjoy, mate. Thanks for your request. And thanks very much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.